How about, um, Bobby, are you there? I'm here. I'm going to get my earphones. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Who am I hearing right now? Awesome. Thank you, Dave. So, everybody, how is everyone? Good. How about you? It's been an interesting week. <laughs> That's it. Yes, a lot of um, a lot of growth and a lot of change <laughs> and a lot of just awareness and insight. And I'm just so excited and ready to hear from everyone. And I love to start with you, Brenda. What's up with you? What are, what's going on for you? Oh, it's kind of been busy. Uh... Yesterday, I took my son to spend Christmas with his dad, so that's why I was on the road for eight hours yesterday. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, um, it's it's actually going pretty good. Um, learning a lot of things, ex exploring, <laughs> delving deeper into everything. So it's it's been good. Awesome. So what's one of the the greatest takeaways that you've had this week? take ways to um, I think I'm beginning to learn that I'm my own worst enemy <laughs> yeah isn't it isn't it kind of interesting <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm I'm my biggest crazy maker <laughs> yeah that, that was so awesome reading that chapter wasn't it Yes, it was. It was really good. I think a lot of us can really relate to the idea of crazy makers. I definitely have had to deal with my own crazy makers this week. And, um, it's been nuts. <laughs> but, you know, it's been a really awesome thing for me, too, just to realize the ways in which our attention and our focus and our energy really get sucked in by these people who are creating all of this chaos and drama, and it doesn't leave much time left over for us, now does it? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, especially the internal crazy maker, it, it keeps our attention occupied a lot. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And I've realized, um, you know, that looking back through the years, how I've always seemed to keep myself in situations... I guess kind of to avoid my creativity, right? Never have time. Never have, you know? have time. And that's that's like the mantra of like the modern day woman and you know the modern day people. Is we don't have time for that. But what is it that we're actually spending our time on, right? Exactly. So, Mostly stuff that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Hey, hey, Krista. Yep. Dave's asking if you can be his voice again today. Oh, Lord Almighty. Is he still mute? Yeah, his computer is back. Uh, he, he's getting it shipped. I think he is getting it set up right now, but it's not completely set up right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. I don't see where... <clears throat> Are you on your phone, too? Yeah, but I can log off and I can log into my iPad. Let me do that. Okay. Or I'll get on the computer really quick. Let me, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. So I know that Happy said she was going to be coming later today, um, later this evening. So, and I know that Leanne's not going to be here because uh, she is at a Christmas party. I mean, I kind of anticipated it. This is kind of like the season for lots of different things happening. But I'm so happy that you could make it, Brenda, and Bobby. You can make it. I don't know if you can actually talk. Are you able to talk? Oh, Bobby's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, Slam of the door. Is so imperfect. <laughs> it's all right. She'll be back. She's she's been hanging around a lot. Okay, I can talk. I'm just really new to this. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you, Bobby. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you, Bobby. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm really new to this, and I've just pushed buttons, and I don't know what. 
It goes off and on. I'm getting better at it, though. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Did you happen to pick up a copy of the book, right. Bobby? Did you happen to pick up a copy of the book, Bobby? I did not. I, went, I meant to go down this week and get it, and I did not get a chance to do that. Okay. Well, I did get a, a partial. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I think there's a little, little bit of a delay. I, I think there's so. a little, little bit of a delay. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, what I'll do is hit mute unless you ask me a question that I answer to. Um, what I did was I did download a partial um, copy of the book. I didn't get it all, so I got some of it, but not all of it. Okay, cool. Have you read any of that parcel okay, of the cool. book? Have you read any of that parcel of the book? Yes. Awesome. So we're on chapter two, so which is week two right two, now. Which is week two right now. And it's uh, recovering and a sense of identity. And this this chapter, I don't know if you've gotten any of it, but it is, you know, about the crazy makers in our lives and people who drive us absolutely nuts, poisonous playmates, and people who are actually really toxic for our recovery as artists, and uh, what to do about it, really. So, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from Happy as to what she's gleaned and uh, what, what has been going on in her life, right, this week. So, go ahead, Happy. Wow, this week has been pretty awesome. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. All right. Um, I had to get everything together, so my heart's still all beating fast, and <laughs> it took me a minute to get everything all in here and set up. So, um, whoops, I disconnected myself. Uh, one second. Okay. <laughs> so, did I miss anything? No, we're all just talking about our check-ins and kind of like talking about what's happened for us this week and... Um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, this so week, go ahead. This week has been very interesting. We've actually relocated. Um, oh, wow. So, <laughs> spur of the moment um, thing. So, in, in, in spite of all of that, I still did pretty much everything that I, you know, was, was doing for this week. So, that was really cool. Um, because I couldn't wait to do the morning pages. It was just like um, every time I get up, I'm like, yes, it's time to write, you know. So mm -hmm. that's been really exciting. And, um, and uh, yeah, I just I did the check-in this morning. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to do it on, on Sunday. Um, yeah, on Sunday to, to start my new day on Sunday after my check-in. So uh, mm -hmm. for the next week, so. Yeah, it's been a really exciting week, and uh, the only thing I didn't, I couldn't think of one person for that, um, what was it, uh, you know, in the first part of the chapter where it's telling you, uh, let me just reference back in the book, those those people that you were just talking about when I came on, um, mm -hmm. I don't remember what they're called, but... Poisonous Playmates? Oh, there you go.
So if anybody's feeling any sort of skepticism for us to all look at it. Um, you know, as much as... Uh oh, I've got a lot of feedback. Dave? I don't know if it's me. I think it's Dave because he just got on the call. Oh, okay. Um, as much as, you know, like I said, all the Abraham work I've done, there's still parts in there that I just didn't even know existed that, that come up and shout all these skepti you know, skeptical things at me. I'm like, wow, all these things you, you've been practicing and look at this. <laughs> You're mm -hmm. still skeptical deep down in there, you know, and pulling these things forward. You know, I've, I've written quite a bit this week about these particular things, and it's really a, a paving a new path for me, you know. So yeah, there is skepticism in there. Not that I can't do it, but how long it's going to take and how good really are you and people are going to laugh at you. Those things, you know, that are really still yeah. there. And um, even yesterday, just talking with, you know, the people that were, were around right now, it, I could feel, you know, I was like, I'm not really an artist. And a lady looked at me and she was like, well, how can you say that? And I'm like, oh, I'm working on it. You know? <laughs> So there, it's still in there, you know. But doing these affirmations every day, you know, the the three affirmations at the end of your uh, morning pages is, is really wonderful. I could feel the shift, and I actually have been documenting. I put a time down when I do it, and um, documenting how I feel afterwards. You know, how it's shifting me. How is it actually changing me? So, it's 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 really really good. I'm enjoying it. Awesome. I love how thorough you are. It's great. <laughs> Did everyone understand the rules of the road, like that that little section right there? Mm -hmm. You know, if you have your books available, just open up to that because I think these are some really powerful ones. You know, number one, show up at the page, use the page to rest, to dream, to try. Mm -hmm. You know, for me personally, that has been the most useful thing because it's because showing up on the page is not meant for you to show up and be perfect. It's not meant for you to show up and try to make something happen. It's there for you to just let it all out and to just rest, to cry, to, to you know, do whatever it is that you need to do in that moment and to allow that to be your, your friend and to be your confidant and, you know, the person that you're whispering your secrets to. You're not afraid that that person's going to judge you, right? You're going to be thinking that the person that's listening to your secrets, are it's going to hold you and hold space for you. And that's what these books, these uh, notebooks that we're writing in are for. So, Brenda, have you, how, how have you been relating to your morning pages? I know that you were having a bit of a struggle just in sense of, um, you know, wanting it to be a certain way and having the monsters and the, you know, the the internal battles. But, like, how have you been relating with that? It's actually been getting um, really, really good. Um, the one thing that I started in complement to, to this program is um, a thing I came across called, um, what is it, Prey Rain Journal, a Prey Rain Journal? Have you ever heard of those? Never heard of it. So, um... The point of it is in the journal you write about, um, I guess, kind of how you how you envision your life as you're in it right now. Mm -hmm. So um, instead of saying, I wish I was whatever, an artist or a writer or whatever it is, you write in this Pray Rain journal as if you already are an artist and how your days transpire you know, as if you were already living in the moment. Mm -hmm. And so taking the morning pages and adding that kind of journal with it has actually been, it's been really helpful for me. Mm -hmm. And I have found that um, in my everyday life things, I'm starting to become more confident, I guess. Right? That's awesome. Um, it's just the other day, you know, I was talking to somebody and, and normally the way I work is like, okay, yeah, well, whatever, I don't need that or I don't want that because, you know, somebody else needs something or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And finally, the other day, I said, well, why do I have to settle for something less than what I want, you know? And so I'm finally getting myself to that point where it's like, I know, I don't, I don't want to settle for less, right? You know, I am beginning to believe in myself enough to strive for that higher point, I guess. So this process is helping me get through to that now. That's so great. 
That's so great. I've yeah. been noticing you being like a lot more like chirpy on social media and stuff like that, just with some yeah. of your, your creativity <laughs> posts. That's so great, though, because those are some of the breakthroughs that you're having, and that you're you know you're actually starting to be able to to share and express. And I just think that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and that's something I never would have done before, right? Yeah. You're, you've been very shy, so I think oh, that's, yeah. really, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I applaud all of those little, like, those little victories. Yeah. So, um, you know, number two, filling the well by caring for your artist. Has everybody been engaging in some more uh, helpful activities and more, more downtime for your artist and more playtime, rather? I have, like I spent pretty much all day painting, right? I have awesome. this huge canvas, it's like four feet by six feet. <laughs> awesome. And I've been playing on it all day today, so. <laughs> it's, I bet that it's, felt awesome, didn't it? Yeah, it's good, you know, not having my son around. Not that I don't like having him around, but at least, you know, today is just my time. Type mm -hmm. thing. No interruptions. You know, took the dog out for a walk, even though it's minus twenty-seven with the wind chill here. Oh but <laughs> you know, but still was able to have that day, which was good. Yeah. What about you, Happy? Let me see. Um, yeah, uh, in this new area, I'm just thrilled because there's a marina right down, like four minute walk from here, and. So um, yesterday we went down there for the first time. We've been here about three days, and I just every moment, um, you know, they kind of left me because I told them this is my, my time right now, and so oh, they understand. Great and, for you. Yeah, and so they let me go, and and I usually do this, but I always like you know feel bad about it. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, guys, but this time I was like, is this you know my time? And they're like, okay, you know, have fun. So I went around with my camera, and I just was like a child in a candy store. I'm not kidding. <laughs> It was so beautiful. It was it was like a painting out there, you know. And I'm so inspired that, you know, I want to come home and paint, but this isn't, you know, the, the position I'm in right now. I'm kind of like, you know, I, a lot of things are going on in my head. I don't know what exactly I want to paint, but I can feel like I want to do something, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I know it's coming out. The more, and I wrote it in my morning pages this morning, you know, the more I talk about it to myself, the more it will come through. So... You know, that's just one of the things that I did. And I actually had two artist dates this week. Um, one was planned. Oh, you. <laughs> one was planned, and then the next one was this yesterday, and it was just so good. I mean, it was so good to do that and feel all that energy from it. So, yeah, it was exciting, actually, <laughs> going that's out so there. Cool. Yeah. How about you, Bobby? I know you haven't really been with us very long, but have you been doing anything this week to like really nurture your creative artist? I'm working on just sitting there and letting my mind. I, I try. I keep such control of every minute. And I'm just.